Welcome to eParchala. I am Dr. Shakila speaking on preservation by minimal processing of food. The term minimal processing has been defined as the least possible treatment to achieve a purpose. It also implies that minimal process as those which minimally influence the quality characteristics of a food while at the same time giving the food sufficient shelf life during storage and distribution. This new technique aims to preserve foods but also retain to a greater extent their nutritional quality and sensory characteristics by reducing the reliance on heat as the main preservative action. Minimal processing can therefore be sent in the context of traditional concern of food processing to extend the shelf life of food. In recent years, there has been a considerable increase in the demand for high quality fresh foods coupled with convenience and safety. High quality usually implies fresh like quality characteristics of flavor, texture, color, aroma and overall appearance and consumers are indicating a strong preference to fruits and vegetables over their counterparts. Furthermore, changes in consumer lifestyles seem to have led to an increased desire for ready to eat or ready to use products. Therefore, interest in a new area of food preservation is being promoted that is minimally or lightly processed products. Other terms used to refer to minimally processed products are lightly processed, partially processed, fresh processed, fresh cut and pre-prepared. Minimally processed products are important to food service industry such as restaurants and catering companies as they offer many advantages over traditional products with respect to convenience, expense, labor and hygiene. <coughs> In food processing, the term mild technologies is also used to express the technique which allows minimal physical chemical, oxidative and mechanical damage to the food products. The aims of minimal processing are as follows. To make the food safe chemically and microbiologically, to retain the desired flavor, color and texture of the food products and to provide convenience to the consumers. Fresh fruits and vegetables are the good examples of convenient foods. This growing consumer's demand of minimally processed foods with no or lesser synthetic additives pose challenges to food technologists. In addition, demand of functional foods to prevent or control of diseases are growing. All these demands force to develop safe foods with minimal processing techniques. This is not a simple task to produce safe minimally processed foods with desired shelf life. Fresh cut fruits and vegetables emerged to fulfill new consumers demands of healthy, palatable and easy to prepare plant foods. Minimally processed foods can be kept safe with partial or minimal preservation treatment. In addition, it results fewer possible alterations to the food quality. Therefore, the fresh cut fruit and vegetable industry is working continuously on diversity of minimally processed products to meet the needs of the consumers. Minimal processing describes non-thermal technologies to process food in a manner to guarantee the food safety and preservation as well as to maintain as much as possible the fresh like characteristics of fruits and vegetables. Among others, visual properties of fresh cut fruit and vegetable commodities are one of the most important parameter to evaluate the total quality of the product by consumers. Looking at the package, it will be possible to evaluate absence or presence of discoloration such as enzymatic browning of cut surfaces, yellowing of green vegetables and pale color of bright vegetables mechanical damage such as foiled lettuce leaves, absence of cutting damage as well as decay. Now let's look at the purposes of minimal processing. The purposes of minimally processed foods include all the operations such as sorting, washing, peeling, slicing etc. that must be carried out before blanching in a conventional processing line. Include value addition such as chopping, husking, coring, 
low level irradiation and individual packaging. Maintain quality attributes similar to those of fresh products that is fruits and vegetables or similar to the products characteristics when consumed. Include procedures that cause fewer possible changes in the food's quality, keeping their fresh appearance and provide enough shelf life to transport it from the production site to the consumer. Overall, the purpose is to prepare ready meals easily and quickly. The advantages of minimal processing are convenience in terms of easy and quick preparation of meals, low severity of processing methods that is most of the cases it uses multi hurdles or multi preservation methods. Maintain quality as fresh or close to the fresh prepared meals or products. Maintain products nutritive values and to provide varied shelf life depending on the types and severity of preservation hurdles used. Applications of minimal processing. Minimal processing can be broadly divided into two categories. First one is based on plant source such as fruits and vegetables and another one animal based such as meat, fish and seafoods. In addition other categories that is combinations of different sources are also appearing in the market such as part bread, ready meal, cook chill, cook freeze products. Minimally processed fresh fruit and vegetables are commonly defined as any fruit and vegetable that has been subjected to different processing steps such as peeling, trimming, cutting, washing, disinfection, rinsing etc. to obtain a fully edible product while providing convenience and functionality to consumers and ensuring food safety. All these steps have an effect on the nutrients, shelf life and quality of the prepared product. Examples of these products already on the market include packaged shredded lettuce, cabbage, carrots, cut fruit and vegetable salads and peel or sliced potatoes, carrots, broccoli and cauliflower florets. These commodities contain exclusively natural ingredients and are bagged or pre-packed in polymeric films able to generate optimal modified atmospheric packaging conditions and they are kept under chilling until consumption. Minimal processing of raw fruits and vegetables has two purposes. First, it is important to keep the product fresh but convenient without losing its nutritional quality. Second, the product should have a shelf life sufficient enough to make distribution feasible within the region of consumption. The microbiological, sensory and nutritional shelf life of minimally processed vegetables or fruits should be at least 4 to 7 days but preferably even longer. Physiological responses and biochemical changes. Vegetables and fruits are living organisms that continue to change after harvest. Plant tissues incur damage during processing and in addition remain raw and living after processing. The physiology of minimally processed fruits and vegetables is essentially the physiology of wounded tissue. This type of processing involving abrasion, peeling, slicing, chopping or shredding differs from traditional thermal processing in that the tissue remains viable during subsequent handling. Thus, the behavior of the tissue is generally typical of that observed in plant tissues that have been wounded or exposed to stress conditions. Within minutes of undergoing minimal processing of fresh produce, the rate of respiration and ethylene production markedly increase and essentially a wound response is initiated. Both respiration and ethylene production will result in shorter shelf life of the product. The ethylene will accelerate ripening, softening and senescence which leads to membrane damage while the respiration will use up energy reserves. Other consequences of wounding are chemical and physical in nature such as oxidative browning reactions and lipid oxidation or enhanced water loss. Injury stresses caused by minimal processing can result in mechanical rupture of tissues, 
and cellular damage leading to alteration in the solubility matrices of enzymes and substrates. One such enzyme system is the ascorbic acid oxidase that oxidizes ascorbic acid to dehydroascorbic acid which can then further degrade to other compounds leading to browning. Thus, nutritional quality such as vitamin C is lost. Therefore, wound-induced physiological and biochemical changes take place more rapidly than in intact raw commodities and microbial proliferation may be accelerated. Preservation Techniques Various approaches have been used to control the undesirable physiological changes that adversely affect the quality of minimally processed products. Refrigeration, humidity control and dipping in chemical solutions such as ascorbic acid and calcium have been used successfully to preserve product quality and enhance shelf life. Minimally processed products should be refrigerated at 0 to 5 degrees centigrade to prolong their quality and safety. Removal of ethylene from the storage environment of minimally processed fruits and vegetables can retard tissue softening. Desirable modified atmospheres can be predicted and created within and around commodities by selecting appropriate packaging. Controlled atmospheres can reduce the effects of ethylene softening and help to extend the post-harvest life. Edible coatings and films have been used successfully with some commodities to provide useful barriers to moisture, oxygen and carbon dioxide while improving package recyclability. During minimal processing, including peeling, cutting and grating operations, many cells are broken and intracellular products such as oxidizing enzymes are released accelerating decay of the product. Additionally, the cut surfaces of any processed vegetable support better microbial growth. In fact, each step in the processing affects the quality and microflora of fresh cut fruit and vegetables. The newest tendency for cutting and shredding is called the immersion therapy. Cutting a fruit while it is submerged in water will control turgor pressure due to the formation of a water barrier that prevents movement of fruit fluids while the product is being cut. Additionally, the watery environment also helps to flush potentially damaging enzymes away from plant tissues. Another alternative could be the use of water jet cutting, a non-contact cutting method which utilizes a concentrated stream of high pressure water to cut through wide range of foodstuffs. The main steps throughout the processing chain of minimal processing fruits and vegetables are washing and disinfection. For this reason, guidelines for packing fresh or minimally processed fruits and vegetables generally specify a washing or sanitizing step to remove dirt, pesticide residues and microorganisms responsible for quality loss and decay. Recent studies have shown that some of the newest sanitizing agents such as chlorine dioxide, ozone and peroxyacetic acid were not capable of reducing microbial population by more than 90 or 99 percent. Sanitation is an integral part of minimal processing. <clears throat> the chances of food pathogens or spoilage microorganisms growing in the products are very high. There are no absolute guarantees of the absence of all pathogens by the current processing methods and technologies. Minimally processed products are generally rinsed in 50 to 200 ppm chlorine or 5 ppm of chloride dioxide which may also aid in reducing the browning reactions. It is known that beneficial modified atmospheres within fresh cut produce packages are attained by correctly choosing packaging materials that will provide the appropriate levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide within a fresh cut produce package. 
In fact, there are a wide variety of polymers and gas mixtures available for packing fresh cut produce that should be optimized for each commodity. However, there is still a major concern about the product safety associated with the use of MAP mainly due to the desired suppression of spoilage microorganisms which extends the shelf life if compared to food products stored in a normal air environment and this may create opportunities for slower growing pathogenic bacteria. Use of combined preservation methods Photochemical processes Recently, many studies have demonstrated the effectiveness of surface decontamination techniques to reduce the microbial risk involved with the consumption of fresh fruits and vegetables. The use of ultraviolet light acts as an antimicrobial agent directly due to DNA damage and indirectly due to the induction of resistance mechanisms in different fruit and vegetables against pathogens. Exposure to UVC also induces the synthesis of health promoting compounds such as anthocyanins. Light pulses have been used successfully as a new technique for the inactivation of bacteria and fungi on the surface of food products when the major composition of the emitted spectrum is UV light. Low dose gamma radiation is very effective reducing bacterial parasitic and protozoan pathogens in raw foods. Non-photochemical processes Many combinations of physical and chemical treatments have been tested in recent years to enhance the antimicrobial action of different disinfectant agents. Among them, the use of acidic electrolyzed water produced by the electrolysis of aqueous sodium chloride solution as a disinfectant for minimally processed vegetable products has been successfully applied. Power ultrasound as used for cleaning in the electronics industry has a potential application to fresh produce decontamination. Ultrasonic fields consist of waves at high amplitude which form cavitation bubbles which generate the mechanical energy which has a cleaning action on surfaces. Impact of minimal processing on quality of food products. The quality aspects of minimally processed products play an important role in marketing and securing consumer acceptance. Sensory appealing is one of the major factors for the freshness and organoleptic characteristics. These parameters include appearance, shape, color, flavor, textural quality as firmness, toughness, moistness and juiciness and crispiness. Similarly, the devoid of cut surfaces avoid discoloration and fluid leaking from the tissues. The cut or wounding of minimally processed products renders them vulnerable to microbial infection and enzymatic browning with higher metabolic activities. The following figure shows the wounding or cutting consequences in minimally processed products. Impact of minimal processing on nutrition contents. In addition to the sensory attributes, nutritional and health functional components also determine products key quality parameters. These further rely on the climatic conditions harvesting operations and methods of harvesting as well as the processing steps used such as cutting, shaping, packaging, shape of operations as churning, cooling and mixing. Functionality of the treated products is largely dependent on the bioactive compounds and antioxidant capacity. Other important factors of the post processing is the packaging techniques. The appropriate compositions of carbon dioxide or oxygen during modified atmospheric packaging avoid unfavorable changes. Packaging technologies for minimally processed foods. Tremendous progress has been made in the modified atmospheric packaging of fresh fruits and vegetables. As oxygen is a prerequisite for aerobic microorganisms growth and replacing it with gases such as carbon dioxide can hinder the growth of organisms. However, 
optimum gas compositions need to be used for each product. The use of antimicrobial packaging is a new trend. These antimicrobial substances in packaging are released to the foot during the storage which prevents undesirable growth of microorganisms on the surface of food. Either they can be incorporated as a sachet inside the packaged or surface of the packaged food can be coated with the antimicrobial compounds. In addition, silver nanoparticles are coated in non-edible films and could be used. The spraying of antimicrobials on the product can prevent the microbial growth and can provide improved shelf life. Minimal processing techniques include the thermal treatments, non-thermal treatments, low temperature storage, applying new packaging techniques and treated with natural antimicrobials alone or in combination that are commonly used for minimally processed foods. Thermal methods can inactivate the lethal organisms and enzymes. It can form aromatic and flavor compounds. However, heating can also destroy the sensitive components like vitamins and health functional compounds. Thus, optimum heat treatments can make the food microbiologically safe and nutrient enriched. High temperature, short time HDST can be used to achieve the target. Combination and non-thermal methods are emerging in the food industry. These techniques are extended their potential to food preservation with limiting losses of the nutritional and sensory characteristics. These are high hydrostatic pressure, pulsed electric fields, high intensity pulsed light, pulsed white light, high power ultrasound, oscillating magnetic fields, irradiation and microwave processing. All these techniques have provided a reliable alternative for processing of liquid foods such as beverages, juices, soups, purees along with solid whole fruits, vegetables and packaged foods. To conclude, in the era of modern technology and changing in consumers demand shifted the food habits and consumption. Consumers inclined towards the food products which have high nutritional values along with freshness, safety and extended shelf life. In the near future, the minimally processed foods are to be engulfed the global markets. The introduction of latest and reliable technologies such as non-thermal treatments assists in minimizing the quality degradation of foods and making full usage of the available resources. The market of minimally processed foods has grown rapidly in the in recent years due to the health benefits and convenience associated with these foods. Its growth has increased the awareness regarding microbiological and physiological aspects associated with the quality. The consumerism tendency depends on multi factors as nutritional value, simplicity, safety and convenience. All these characteristics must be considered in minimal processing. Minimally processed foods have formed the well-established market and engulf the capital investment. The various schemes of research and development targeting the agricultural products have been established that provides long life to short life perishable and improves the quality of short life foods. Thank you.